Okay, hello my dear colleagues, uh, I'm very happy to meet you through the camera. So we'll see a treatment, a little of what we are doing in our office and what we, you can learn with us. So we are doing the starting position, what we call general listening, okay? Light pressure, somebody goes, where there is a little tension, for him it's a little bit to the left side. The first clue for me, there is something on the left side. After, I will try to see if it's more the upper part or the lower part. It's on the left side, a little to the uh, middle part, to the dorsal spine. We will do the same thing in the sitting position. It means that we will not check no more the inferior limbs, inferior extremities. So you sit down, please. I do the same thing, the two hands are behind here. And it goes to the left side also. It's very a little side bending. So we know there is something on the left side and we we'll check again. So what I will do is to put the two hands on me, like it. It's on the left side again. Okay. So line you back. Alors, what we can evaluate, it's also the two inferior. The two feet, to know if there is a tension, there is more tension on the right side, so we are not the same uh, listening. What we call listening, as you know, is to let your hand attracted where there is a tension. And as I have found something on the left side, with my hand I'm doing some local listening, and check if there is some tension, there is one tension on the left side. I move my hand again, a little bit on the left side also, no more term tension. So we know that the problem is between second ribs on about uh, three, four fingers underneath the cyphoid process. So we can check now a little the organ. So what I check first is a little the rib. Okay. I check the, st the stomach. I put, because each organ, as you know, has a different movement. I check the mobility of the stomach. And I check a little the attachment of the stomach. We have a tension close to the esophagus because it's a little high. And as you know, the esophagus is not so far from the heart area. It's about uh, three, four fingers about the cyphoid process. So I track down a little the stomach and we have a tension. This tension can come from a little uh, irritation of the stomach or some increase of acidity in the stomach. Very often is connected also with the emotion. So we can check if it's more physical or emotional. I check also what we call motility. Motility is a very tiny movement. It's like the expression of the energy of the organ. We put the hand in the organ of the organ and we let the hand go. And there is a movement but not so important, not so important. I check the head. I put the two hands here to release a little the fascia. And we do a cranial listening exactly in the same way, is to understand a little bit what the body expresses. So I put my two hands, and it goes, of course, on the left side. So it's interesting for me. There are more and more clues saying that we have something to clear up at this level. I turn the head, okay, and I never treat him, okay, the first time. And we have a tension on the left side, I do the same thing, and he can feel nothing on the right, a big tension on the left side. If I do again the listening on the skull, it's not enough to tell me there is something inside the skull, some fixation or in the brain. We are going more to the cervical spine, and I check the cervical spine, and there is a fixation at the level of C6, and as you know, there are some connection with C6 also, with the thorax, on the fagus. So it's tight on the C6. What I will do first is to release the fagus on the stomach. So one some on the upper part of the stomach, less curvature, as you know, between cyphoid process and umbilicus, the other one a little up above. And I will try to compress a little bit to follow the listening, what we call induction. Induction is to increase the listening to increase the listening, and I follow what the organ <coughs> wants to do. Uh, for me it's interesting, C6 on the left side, the fagus stomach, is something logical for the, for the body. 
As C6 is just fixed on one side, I will not touch the vertebra, I will more release the organ. So I will shake up a little bit emotionally, voila, I come back here, I increase a little my pressure, there is nothing aggressive as you can see, we are on the stomach, I track down the stomach, follow the listening, follow the listening, with my other finger, I am the great acrobature, okay, and I come, I come, so. And after a certain time, you feel that you must overtake a little the limit of the listening, so here we are, I overtake the limit. So I check again in local listening, I check again, my listening, I don't try to, uh, to do, to say something that, that is not true, it's, uh, I follow my hand myself and there is a big difference and no more the listening on the left side. I want to check the cervical spine at the level of C6 to know if there is some tension of C6. I'm not a liar, there's less tension of C6. So because it's what I do in my office, no, I don't try just for a demonstration, and you can see there is a big difference. So C6 was just some tension created by the stomach, and now I check something, the emotion. Okay, a light pressure, because we are no more speaking to the tissue, we are speaking to some, uh, something emotional. Movement is going forward, that is good. Forward means that you want to do something in your life, you have some, uh, some way kind of ambition also. It's uh, on the left side, left side for us is a job, it's uh, what you do in front of the society, so it's good. It's somebody who is uh, going to do something in his life, good for you. <laughs> and after, so I check again, there is not something very interesting that I would like to do. I suppose it's something more uh, now. Uh, it's not something very chronical, it's, not, not, it's now because it's not in this town and so on. So. Okay, so what I would like to do is to follow also a little the vagus nerve. I check carotid, I come a little underneath the carotid, okay, and I do a traction and I compare both sides, I do a traction, and there's a little tension on the vagus nerve, remember this nerve is going on all the organs, it's uh, very important. So I will do a very light technique. On the nerve, very light technique. We are sweeping on the nerve itself. We try to release. I move a little the sternocleidomastoid and muscle. Okay, move a little. Follow the listening. Do some induction. Follow the listening. Separating my fingers. Okay. I let my fingers here. I check the stomach. No. And I try to coordinate the nerve the nerve, the nerve, and try to connect with the organ. Okay? And what is good in our job is to do many things, not just to fo be focused, that's good, but to follow what the body says, and, uh, and you know that uh, with our knowledge, we don't know so many things, there are so billions and billions of things to know, but what is interesting, the hand is always right, if you train, and if you follow your, uh, your hand, you can have good results. And it's what I propose for you to do with uh, Barbara Institute. My name is Jean-Pierre Barral, as a number, with Barbara Institute. So come to take some course with us. A lot of fun and it's very interesting because it will get good results for your patients.